what's up everybody welcome back to another random video this one we're not going to be on the raptor we're actually going to be on this uh ford focus here 2015 i decided to get me a little little project car plus a commuter car really um i was already working on it what we're going to do is put some spacers on this thing as you can see this is how it looks uh, i did take pictures i'm gonna post some pictures well, the wheel's off on that one. I really didn't do much just to take off the wheel. But just to tell you, just so you can see, it is just a little bit inside of the wheel well there. Let's see. There you go. That's probably better. Right there. So it's not sticking out. All right, here we go. We're going to start with the uh, driver, driver side now, driver front. Jacked up. Jack it up. I got my jack. I got my jack stands. They're holding it up. I took off the lug nuts. 19 millimeter for mine. All right. So these are my spacers. There are hub centric, meaning. See this part right here? It's on the hub itself. That way it's centered. I got these from CJ Pony Parts. Got my NACs. I'm gonna just cover this entire this entire section. Some here. You could scrub this off uh, if you prefer. Here it is. Go ahead and just put it on there. I will put it on the entire entire surface of this all right here we are it was black now it's silver put that on there these lugs are actually these are the ones I'm gonna tighten there these lug nuts um, go ahead and just tighten this up And then you want to torque it to 100 foot pounds all right make sure you have your emergency brake on that way your rear wheel doesn't spin once again these are not the factory tires or the factory size the factory size is a 215 we got a 235-45 R17 tire here. So if you see it on on YouTube, uh, find out and you see like the way it looks or you don't like the way it looks, find out what kind of tires they have. So I went a little bit more aggressive. And this is on the on the stock the stock uh, wheel. Actually before I do that. Go ahead and put some anti-seize on these threads. Perfect. With flush, that'll work. Let's go ahead and torque this down. All right, once you put the lug nuts in, get your impact. That is one. All right, here we go. Remember, if you know you're gonna keep them permanently, just go ahead and put some anti-seize here on the surface. I could 
tell you, I like how this looks. 25 millimeters in the front. Yeah, for sure. So here is the after. Oh yeah, this one looks really good. My dog is all up on me. So once again, I bit the rear. You can see the phone is the camera's on the on the panel. You see how it sticks out. This front one doesn't stick out as much. You can see there. And this is the before. Oh, it has a lot of space inside. You see. You can see there. The back on the 25 looks pretty good. But for some reason it's that. It's this one that's sticking out way too much. I gotta figure that out. But I'm, I'm liking, I'm digging this front here. That's it right there. It's pretty simple. You can see how it's kind of flush, and then the back one is tucked in. This one over here. Bam, right there. It look good. These are looking really good. All right, well, thank you for watching. Uh, if you wanna put spacers on your focus, this is a SC, not a STRS. I don't have money for that stuff. But uh, if you wanna go ahead and put spacers, that's kinda of what it's gonna look like. Again, these are 235s, 4517s, not the 215s. Thank you for watching this random video. On to the next project.